Okay, fifth graders, this is five dash two, and I actually wanted to get this one done before we lose power. I'm not even sure what school's going to look like. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be if we'll have school on Monday, <clears throat> and I don't know if Calaveras is going to have power. Uh, I know over here in Tuolumne, uh, in the Sonora area, I don't think we will. But um, so if we don't have school tomorrow, um, and there's power out, I mean, if there's power out in Valley Springs, there there will not be any school. So, um, anyways, this is five dash two, and it says using compatible numbers to estimate quotients, and quotients again is is, and I've said this before, it's it's a uh, another way of saying an, an answer to a division problem. And uh, let's look at a couple of these here. It says Ella earned one hundred and fifty nine dollars by selling bracelets. <clears throat> Each bracelet was the same price. How much did each bracelet cost? Well, we need to find out how many bracelets she sold. And if you look over here, you can see that it says that she sold 75 bracelets. So it says, uh, um, let's see here. Uh, you can use division to find the price, right? You, you know the total amount earned which is 159 so the question asks how much um, so it says an estimate is not enough interesting the first example they give um, oh I'm sorry I misspoke that misread that it says an estimate is enough my bad sorry it is enough um, because it is uh, talking about estimation and it says about how much all right so you don't have to have an exact number so anyways they go through the example here 159 divided by 75 that's essentially the problem well you could take 159 and turn that into 160 75 you could turn that into 80 and you know that um, uh, let's look at this here really quick here we've got 160 divided by 80 and this is really similar to um, some lessons we were doing in the last one where we're using compatible numbers. So let's look at something we can use here. 16, what's 16 divided by 8? 16 divided by 8 is 2. Is there any zeros we can cancel out? Sure there is, one on each side. So what is the answer? The answer is 2. 160 divided by 80 is 2. And that's essentially what they came up with as far as the answer. Let's drop down into the convince me here. It says, suppose Ella earned 230 selling 75 bracelets. Estimate the price of each bracelet. All right. So um, let's just leave the 230 as it is. Set that aside for a moment. What's 75 plus 75? In other words, what's three quarters plus three quarters? That's going to be $1.50 or 150 All right. <coughs> um what's 150 plus 150 that's going to be 300 so that's too much but if we what if we added another 75 okay that's simply going to be um that's going to be on 225 225 that's really close to 230 and since we're estimating that should be fine so um this would be a uh, dollar a bracelet a dollar a bracelet plus another dollar a bracelet so um, estimate the price it would be approximately three dollars per bracelet all right um, let's look at the guided practice here I'll do a couple of those and I'm gonna cut you guys loose because I think for the most part um, a little bit of common sense and you guys can do these on your own um, let's see here. Number one, it says Ella has 425 more bracelets to sell. She wants to store these in bags that hold 20 bracelets each. She estimates that she will need about 25 bags. Do you agree? Well, what's 20 times 25? That's, that's the question. Well, how about this? Let's, since we're estimating, what's 20 times 20 equal? Well, what's two times two? Two times two is four. Okay. How many zeros did we not use? We're not canceling out any zeros. What didn't we use? Well, there's two zeros we didn't use. So 20 times 20 is 400. Remember, we've got to add in those two zeros. We didn't use them. 
all right so um it's about 400 and she has how many bracelets 425 so i would say yes um 20 times 20 equals 400 um which is close to 425 all right um let's see here let's do a couple more how about number two uh it says 287 divided by 42. so how about uh how about just make it 280 uh divided by how about 40. all right so um well what are compatible numbers here we have 28 and we have four how many times does four go into 28 that's seven times and uh, there's a zero we can cancel out on each side so it, the answer is seven 287 divided by 42 is approximately seven how about number three let's look at number three here we could call this how about how about if we just call it 300 divided by uh, let's make it 10, not 11. So what's 300 divided by 10 equal? Well, how many times does 10 go into 100? It goes in 10 times. So how many times would 10 go into 200? Well, that would be 20 times. So how many times do you think 10 fits into 300? That would be 30 times. So 300 divided by 10 is 30. Um, the way I've been showing you, if you hadn't noticed, to do something like this would be to use compatible numbers. So let me ask you, how many times, so what do we have? We have three and we have one. How many times does one fit into three? Three times. Is there any zeros we can cancel out? Yeah, there's a zero on this side and there's a zero on that side. Remember, if you cancel out one zero, you have to cancel out another so how many zeros are left over there was one zero left over we got to add that in what's the answer 30 look at that it happens to be the same answer i just did it in a couple different ways all right so the answer to number what number was that number two the answer would be 30. um let's see here i'm looking to see if there's some others that you might need some help with how about number look at number eight for a moment um so they called it 400 and 84 i think i'd probably call that 80. and what are our compatible numbers how many times does eight go into 40. Well, it goes in four times. Is there a zero left over? Um, if we cancel out, cancel out a couple zeros. Um, well, we can cancel out that zero. We can cancel out that zero. We used that first zero. That's 40. So there's not any zeros we could you know, add in. So uh, 412 divided by 84, an estimate would be 4, not 40. It wouldn't make any sense. 40 times. Yeah, that'd be a huge number. Um, last one on this page I'll help you with. How about number 22? Number 22, 6, 6, uh, divided by 84 what are some compatible numbers now if you guys know your multiplications table this would help so 6395 that's pretty close to 64,000 divided by i could just call this how about 80. now we have some compatible numbers because i know in my head 64 divided by 8 is 8 8 times 8 is 64. so there's my first number any zeros i can cancel out i can cancel out one on this side one on this side i have one zero left over this one right here so six 
5,400, which is an estimate divided by 80, is 80. All right. So um, I think a fair estimate would be 80 for number 22. Let's look at the last page for 5-2 here. The problem solving page. Um, let's look at number, let's look at 25 here. So it says a company purchased 3,128 water bottles. Each department needs 55 bottles. So that's the division problem. 3,128 divided by 55 equals. Well, what are some compatible numbers we could <clears throat> we could use here? How about just simply making it 3,000? Let's just make it 3,000 divided by, instead of 55, let's make it 50, okay? So what do we have here? Let's look at some compatible numbers. How about 30 divided by five? What's 30 divided by five? That's six. And is there any zeros we can cancel out? I can get rid of one here and one here. There's one zero left over, this one right here I didn't use. I'm gonna add that in. So 3,000 divided by 50 is, a proc is, is 60. Okay, and 60 is a, uh, a good explanation or a good estimate. It says find the number, find the compatible numbers to estimate the number of departments that can get the bottles they need. Explain. So we got to explain this here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down 60 bottles. 60 bottles. Uh, because um, 3,000 divided by 50 equals 60, which is, you know, that's the problem I did. I mean, 3,000 is, is an estimate of 3,128, 3, and 50 is an estimate of 55, and that would work. Okay. So anyways, that's it, you guys. Um, I don't know if we'll have school tomorrow or not. Uh, and I'll probably do, if I can, I'll do another video for 5-3, maybe for Tuesday. Of course, if you guys don't have any power, there's no power at school, you probably don't have any power at home, and therefore you would not even be able to access this, vi access this video up on YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I may end up, if we come back to school Wednesday, and nobody's, some of you haven't watched the video, I'll just play it and walk around and check your work. <laughs> so, that's it. I will see you guys maybe... Uh, tomorrow that's the big question all right talk to you later